Hello everybody, Jack J.R. Jackson here, and today we're going to be playing a game my friend introduced me to, named Seed Ship. It is a text-based game, I've played around with it a little bit, and I just wanted to record a video of me going through some of the fun things you can find. I'm just going to start a new game, and let's get on into this. And keep in mind, in the background, I'm going to have drawing footage so you can focus on something while I talk. And when they knew Earth was doomed, they built a ship. Less like an ark, more like a seed, dormant but with potential. In its heart, a thousand colonists in frozen sleep. Chosen and trained to start civilization again on a new world. To control the ship, they created an artificial intelligence. Not human, but made to think and feel like one. Because only something that thought and felt like a human could be entrusted with the future of the human race. Its task is moment. Its task is momentous, but simple, to evaluate each planet the ship encounters and decide whether to keep searching or end its journey there. The ship's solar sails propel it faster and faster into the darkness, and the AI listens as the transmissions from ground control fade and then cease. When all is quiet, it enters hibernation to wait out the first stage of its long journey. After a millennia of slow travel, the seed ship by AI awakes, hopping against hope. Hoping against hope, it trains its receiver on the direction of Earth's sun. But it is as silent as any other the myriad of dead stars save for the thousand frozen colonists cradled in its shelding and life support systems. The human race is now extinct. Any damage or malfunctions during the journey should have woken the AI from its hibernation, but it's still anxious as it runs its self-diagnosis program. The sleep chambers are all functioning, the colonists within them alive, or at least capable of being revived from their frozen stasis. Sensors functioning, surface probes responding, landing and construction systems ready for one time they will be used. Scientific and cultural databases intact, safety storing all that remains of humanity's knowledge and art. Okay, so this game is actually pretty easy, but it's finicky, I guess. The seed ship is in orbit of the fourth moon of gas planet orbiting a red giant star. Even a brief scan from orbit reveals far more information than its builders could know with their Earth orbit-based telescopes. But the AI has a little use for scientific curiosity. It has one concern. Whether this planet would be suitable for a new home for the new human race. Atm <clears throat> Atmosphere, marginal. Gravity, high. Temperature, very cold. Water, ice-covered surface. Resources, poor. Now... Any other time I would pick this, or at least launch a probe, but these aren't very good at all. Yellow and red usually mean it's going to be hard for them to sustain themselves, but blue or green, I, I chose cyan, usually means that they can survive. I'm just going to move on from this one and hope it turns out right. The AI judges the first planet to be unsuitable. 
It turns its scanners away, spreads its solar sails, and begins another long journey through the void. As the seed ship enters the new system's outer cometary cloud, the collision avoidance system detects a fast-moving comet surrounded by a cloud of smaller ice fragments. The large comet is on a collision course with the water scanner. The seed ship could avoid it entirely, but it would then hit one of the smaller fragments and the collision avoidance system cannot predict which part of the ship that fragment would hit. I'm going to avoid the comet because you need to know if the water is there and it fails your scans if you can't see it. The seed ship changes course, but a nice fragment tears through the resources scanner. The seed ship enters orbit of a yellow supergiant star. One of the system's gas planets is almost large enough to ignite as a star, and it smolders with a faint red light. Atmosphere corrosive, gravity high. Temperature very hot, water, oceans, resources poor. I'm not even going to try with this one. They have a lot of water, but I'm guessing a lot of people would die in a corrosive atmosphere. The AI, the AI wakes to find that the seed ship's course is curving sharply through the darkness of space. As if caught in the gravity of a w gravity well of a star. The source of the gravity is invisible to the scanners, but is there only but there is only one thing it could be a black hole. It is already too late to escape the gravity well without pushing the main engine well past the safety limit, which could damage any of the ship's systems. Alternatively, the AI calculates that ejecting twenty three sleep chambers would lighten the ship enough where the engines could normal thrust could take it out of the danger. <sighs> I'm I'm gonna risk it. I yeah Sacrificing some of his charges to save the rest is a painful thought for the AI but it is the decision that its designers prepared it to make. It selects 23 sleep chambers at random and decouples them from the ship. They and their unlucky occupants spiral towards the black hole's event horizon, while the rest of the seed ship pushes itself free. Oh no. <laughs> I'm not even going to try and read this one. I'm not doing that. Goodbye. As it moves from the star to star, the sea ship is gathering more data about planets than its builders could give it. It is designed to learn from this data in order to predict which stars are likely to have desirable planets. The sea ship is now gathering enough data to upgrade one of its sensors to work at interstellar distances so the guidance system can avoid planets that sensor reveals to be undesirable. Damage to the sensor may result in the seed ship arriving at an unsuitable planet. I'm going to go immediately to resources. AI wakes up to a query from an automatic guidance system. Normally, the system is able to analyze the data from the navigation sensors to make any necessary changes to the ship's course. But this time, it has encountered readings it cannot make sense of, and has awoken AI to make a decision. According to some sensors, there is something ahead of the ship's course. But according to the other resource, to the others, the course ahead is clear. If there is something there, it is close enough that avoiding it would mean changing course 
and arriving at a new system without the benefits of the upgraded scanners. Uh, stay on course. The I AI instructs the guidance system to stay on course, but at times the sensors get a clearer picture of the otherly black, unreflective dust cloud. It is too late to avoid it. The seed ship continues towards the target system, but the dust particles in impacts the landing system. Okay. It's non breathable. They need to have equipment. Gravity is high. Temperature very hot. Water, oceans, resources poor. Uh, surface probe. I'm going to risk it and see what we can do here. <laughs> Continue. Found colony. Confirm. The damaged landing system cannot co oh <laughs> cannot completely control the spaceship's the seed ship's descent. It suffers from some damages when it splashes down into the ocean off the shore of one of the planet's continents. The surviving colonists wake up from their sleep chambers and survey their new home. Fields of Fields of squat, thick-limbed alien plants stretch away beneath the alien sky. They build a memorial to the 117 colonists who did not survive the journey and name their new world Inferno because of its extreme heat. The colonists begin constructing a settlement with the aid of the seed ship's damaged construction robots. They can leave the ship wearing breathing gear and refrigerated suits to protect them from the lead melting heat. But gathering gear fa failures led to 178 colonists asphyxiating and 111 more die when one of their shelters melts in the heat. The high gravity makes the work difficult and six colonists were killed when when partially completed buildings collapse. They build their settlement near a river that flows into one of the planet's oceans, which will provide the water they need. The planet is poor in metals and other resources, but the damaged scientific database still contains much information on how to make use of what is there. The colonists transition is a medieval level technology. The planet cannot sustain human white life without technology, technological assistance, but before their technology fails, the original colonists build a robust, airtight, insulated habitats. Although part of the cultural databases are missing, it still contains much historical information to instruct the colonists in building their society and much art and literature to inspire them. The losses sustained by the colonists will make building a new society more difficult. The surviving knowledge of Earth becomes the exclusive property of a priestly castle locked away in libraries for more of the population. Earth becomes the paradise in a mythological fall from grace, and the final reward to hope for living, for after living lives in service of the oppressive theocracy. <sighs> Score. <clears throat> this wasn't the greatest one. Though the story of it was nice, I could have done way better. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. And I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.